All right, so today we're gonna to go over tricep extensions, push downs, whatever you wanna call them. My goal is to get you to really connect better with the tricep and be able to pinpoint whatever part of the head you're trying to grow, but we're not gonna go over all the crazy variations. All right, maybe a few of them, but if you want me to make a video on all the different variations I like to do, just leave a comment below. I'll get on that next. Let's talk elbow height. Now, I think everything from 45 degrees to tucked in forward and just cranking out is an acceptable way to do them as long as the form is how I'm gonna show you. I don't think, however, that doing an actual press down is something you're ever gonna to need to do again. I think you do it as a kid, it turns you into a man, you could do the whole stack one time, show your friends you're done with it. It really doesn't that help that much. It hits the outer head, but there's better ways to do that I'm gonna show you. Everything we're gonna to do today is gonna to hinge over top of that elbow. You're never gonna push away, you're never gonna push down. You're always gonna be flexing away and back towards you, right? So it's gonna start with the motion pushing away and you're gonna flex back into your body. I don't care if you have your elbows up or elbows tucked to your side, same thing. You're gonna flex away and flex back in. It's just a better connection overall. Just to reiterate that, you can flex this way with every angle of your elbows, right? So if you're doing the 45, you're pushing away and then back towards you. If you're doing the one I love, which is elbows right to your side, same idea, starts away, comes back towards you. If you're just somebody who likes to throw some weight on there and crank it around, still, same thing. It starts away and it pulls back into your body because that's gonna get more engagement out of that tricep. If you didn't catch another video, I'm really big on how you flex your forearm is how you flex your tricep. Now, most people will say flex those wrists back and keep them out of it completely. I'm not that guy. I say you flex that forearm in the direction you want to hit the tricep. So if you want that, the meat of the tricep, that long head and the medial part of the tricep, you're going to flex straight down. If you want to hit the outer part, the lateral head, you're going to flex at a 45 degree angle out. All right, let's take all that information, throw in a couple exercises so you can really get the concepts. Now, first thing we're gonna start off with is that 45 degree angle. You're gonna start with your wrist flexed back towards your body. Once you start the movement, you begin immediately start flexing that wrist down and away. Once you get about halfway, you should be all the way flexed, and now you should feel like you're pulling back towards your body. You're never gonna lock it all the way out. I think that's a mistake that a lot of people make is they're so focused on the lockout that either they lose it in their traps or they don't get that full stretch. All right, let's hit an exercise that hits every head of the tricep. But what you need to do is actually split into two motions. So first motion is drifting those elbows up and re-engaging them back to your body. From there, you're gonna flex over top of those elbows and flex your wrist at a 45 degree angle out, right? So what it's gonna do throughout the entire process is from here to here, you get that long head engaged, you flex over that medial part of the tricep, and at the very end, as you're twisting out and flexing that forearm at a 45 degree angle, you get that lateral head. Let's get into partials by doing one of my favorite movements, which is 20, 20, 20s. So now you're gonna do 20 reps at the top. You're barely flexing down. You still get a little wrist movement in that. 20 reps at the bottom, same thing. You're flexing that wrist down and out, hitting that lateral head, and then just 20 fulls just to rep it out and blow up your entire tricep. Now these are nice because they get you to realize that the range of motion actually affects what head of the tricep you're hitting. All right, like always, if you found that helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, get after it, get growing. I'll talk to you soon.